One of the most powerful and prevalent mental processes that significantly contributes to social conflict is the tendency to think that the way you perceive reality is the way that others also perceive reality. In other words, when we interact with the world through our senses, we naturally assume that other people experience the world the same way that we do. This mechanism occurs in all areas of our daily lives, from not understanding others' taste in foods to preference of music or choice of religion. It is extremely difficult to imagine how others experience events, because we really only have our own past and present experiences, perceptions, and feelings to draw from. It can even be difficult to accurately remember how you yourself actually experienced your own past events because your present mood, mindset, and experiences drastically influence your memory of how you perceive those past events. And because we don't understand the past experiences of others, even simple vocabulary can have a significantly different meaning to other people. These differences in the meaning of words or phrases often results in miscommunication and subsequent conflict. But perhaps most importantly, we have an extremely difficult time understanding the behavioral influences that other people experience. And this tendency to project our own experiences and perceptions onto others contributes significantly to social conflict. When we observe or learn about another individual making a poor decision, then it is easy for us to judge that person. We often think that we would have made a better decision in that circumstance. However, we are unable to fully imagine the mental, physiological, and external influences that the individual experienced. We can often become easily irritated or angered when we blame others for what appears to be selfish, careless, or just plain strange behavior. Unfortunately, we automatically assume that the individual engaging in the behavior is privy to the same knowledge, mindset, and capabilities as ourselves. The tendency to feel that we have an objective perception of reality is an extremely strong tendency. We automatically project our own reality onto others because it is impossible for us to even come close to fully placing ourselves in another person's shoes. Fortunately, multiple studies have shown that even just acknowledging the existence of and reflecting on the tendency can actually reduce the degree that it is committed. However, the studies also show that the effectiveness of this technique is not permanent and therefore requires periodic reflection in order to counter the strength and pervasive nature of the tendency.